Vroom, vroom. Oh, look, it's the Cocomelon bus. We're at school today. Let's see who's in class. We have a blue door, a green door, orange, and purple. The blue door has a number one on it. Let's flip this switch and see who comes out. It's JJ. JJ has the letter A. Who else is joining us in class? Here's number two. Let's press this circle button and see who comes out. It's Cody. Cody has the letter B. And here's door number three. And we have this orange switch that we flip up. Who is joining us in class today? It's Tom Tom. Tom Tom has the letter C. Now let's see who's behind door number four. It's the purple door with the twist dial. Let's twist it and see who our classmate is. It's Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo has the letter D. Now we have JJ, Cody, Tom Tom, Yo-Yo, and you joining the class. Hooray! Let's try our friends again this time, but faster. JJ, Cody, Tom Tom, Yo-Yo. And what are we learning about in class today? Let's take a guess. We have one, two, three, four doors. Here's a purple door with a tree on it. Let's flip this log switch up. It's a caterpillar. What else are we learning about? Here's a green door with some leaves and a leaf switch that we move up. It's a ladybug. And now we have the third door that's orange and it has one, two, three mushrooms on there. Here's a fun mushroom button we get to press. It's a snail. And this last door, we have one, two, three, four flowers. And a flower button. Let's see how we can open this. We twist it. It's a bee. Now, who are we going to learn about today? Let's close the ones that we're not learning about. Look who's left. We have the caterpillar and the ladybug. Did you know a caterpillar starts off as little eggs? Here they are on a leaf. These holes in the leaf means that the caterpillar is eating it as food. Now those tiny eggs turn into this caterpillar. What colors do you see on the caterpillar? Right, yellow, black, and white. A caterpillar has lots of legs. Here's its head and you can see its eyes. And over here is its tail. Then the caterpillar turns into a chrysalis. And something truly magical happens in the chrysalis because boop, 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 the caterpillar turns into a beautiful butterfly. Here it is, look at its beautiful wings. This butterfly is orange, it's ready to fly off. Bye bye butterfly. Wow, you just learned about the life cycle of a butterfly. Here's the eggs, then the caterpillar, then the chrysalis, and then the butterfly. Great job, butterfly. Can you guess what we're learning about next? These are little eggs. But what are they the eggs to? They're ladybug eggs. The eggs of the ladybug turn into larva. Here is a ladybug larva. It looks very different from the ladybug we know. It's all black with a little bit of orange right here. Then the larva turns into a pupa. This is a pupa. It's all orange and it has black dots. And finally, the pupa turns into a ladybug. This ladybug is red and it has black spots and some white spots. Let's go over what we learned. Here's the ladybug eggs, then it turns into larva, and then a pupa, and finally, a ladybug. Next, let's learn about something new. These are little eggs. There's a whole bunch of them. 
can you guess what they're eggs to? They're frog eggs, but they're not frogs just yet. The eggs turn into tadpoles. This is a tadpole. It has a tail and a head with two eyes. Tadpole. The tadpole then grows legs. Whoa! It's starting to look more like a frog. Look at its face and it has two legs and its tail. Then finally, the tadpole with legs turns into a frog. A frog croaks like this. Rabbit, rabbit. Let's go over it again. Here we start with eggs. Then the eggs turn into tadpoles. And then the tadpoles grow legs. And finally, they turn into a frog. And that's the life cycle of a frog. Whoa, what's this? We have a whole bunch of rings here. And this looks like a circle. It has a little face on it. Let's try putting it together. First, let's go with the biggest string. This is purple. Let's get it right in. Now, let's find the next biggest ring. Right, it's the blue ring. Let's get it right in. Do you see the next biggest ring? Great job, it's the green one. Here we go with the green ring. And now we have two rings left. Which one is bigger? Is it the orange ring or the yellow ring? Right, the yellow ring is bigger. Let's put the yellow ring right in. And finally, we have the orange ring. It's the smallest ring yet, and it goes right up top. Hmm, but we seem to be missing something. What are we missing? Right, we're missing the head. It's in the shape of a circle, and it's red. Let's add it to our tower, and what do we have? It's a very hungry caterpillar. Great job learning today. See you next time. Bye, everyone.